jump. Yes, so good for that. When you leave your child, you want to know that they're in an environment that they're going to be growing and really benefiting from instead of just a place where you leave them to wait out the hours that you're going to be away from them. Blow the dandelion seeds into the air. Can you blow? <sighs> I'm currently staying at home and working on getting on with my career, which pretty much came to a halt when, um, when my husband was in residency and my first son was a toddler. I was hoping that we could put Desmond in a nursery school environment. The programs where I would feel really good leaving him were full. We started looking around at the other options, which really illustrated to us the critical situation of, of childcare availability in Albuquerque. We visited a home-based daycare, and we visited a couple of centers that I would not feel really great leaving my son there. And I think where it really hit home was that there are a lot of moms in this community that have to work. And they're in these situations where they don't have a choice. They have to leave their kids. In terms of the, the kind of stimulation that they were offered in the overall environment and access to out of doors and qualified professional caregivers, I mean, pretty much a strikeout. Do you see any other things that are blue? Blue. Yeah, good. I did my master's degree in social entrepreneurship. And a social entrepreneur is someone who goes into a community and really sees what kinds of social needs are prevalent through listening to the experiences of other families. I think that really the common denominator is access to quality childcare. I never ever saw myself as someone who would open an early childhood education center in my home. We're moving forward with it because there is such a profound need. There should be a much, much higher incentive to encourage people to really work on making society open for mothers and children. I'm talking about businesses where children can go and play while mothers are able to get work done. There's so much more that we can do and it doesn't matter what income bracket they come from, that they really need to feel supported. I want to give you a hug.